what's going on guys it's your boy I uh, figured it's been a minute and I wanted to kind of update one of my older videos uh, really to help you guys try to take some better pictures especially pertaining to car photography and GTA 5 um, it's really simple uh, obviously you need a pretty good subject right you can have the best camera in the world in an ugly ass model it's not gonna work right so get yourself a pretty nice car uh, try to think of your setting like where did, you know what do you want to wear what do you want to like where do you want to be i'm not going to take a luxury car like this out in some fucking desert and sure you could do some pretty different shots like that but for more, most of the nice shots you kind of want like an off-road car out there or something like that make it look natural a rally car um the other thing is picture composition that's a very very big part of it uh you gotta just drive around try to find that perfect spot it could be like a perfect time of day perfect lighting um i like to use like a rule of thirds so basically you could like third or half the screen should be your main subject and the other half should be just things going on and um, so like a busy place like this is pretty cool you see a lot of people walking uh, walking past and forth you see a couple of light poles a couple of cars driving by so let's see if we can find some pedestrians opposed to a couple of pedestrians that are constantly moving and maybe something else like here it's just a bit plain all right so we'll uh, park it up right here we get a pole, we get pedestrians, we get yeah, we get people walking, and then uh, yeah, get out of your car if you want your lights on, you can turn that on. I'm gonna move it off now. Uh, actually, you know what? I might actually put it on. So, and then just hit that record, and you stay well away from your car. Uh, sometimes it it's cool to have the person inside, but. They do stuff with their face, they're looking here and there, it just kind of looks weird. So I'm seeing like people walking past the car, I'm letting a couple cars drive by, and all of that actually just adds to the frame, just like there, that flute of driving by. You'll see how I play with that later. And that's really it, guys, you save that, and uh, that's the first part done. Obviously, uh, the better your computer, you want to be able to make sure you have some pretty good um, settings. Uh, one of the things that would definitely help is obviously having your anti-aliasing on as well as your frame scaling so this is actually huge and such a resource hog so i'm not even even though i've got a pretty good pc i'm not going to turn that like crazy high because it just slows your computer down to a crawl and uh yeah i'm just going to go back into single player i'm doing this all in real time so you guys see that it really takes a minute to uh grab a picture just, you know, think ahead of time, like, you know, where do you want to be? Is it in the hood? Is it a stance car, like tuner? Is it, you know, what is it, right? I'm waiting for the perfect time of day, waiting for the pedestrian to walk by. All these little things can go from taking a really nice shot to just an absolutely great shot. Ooh. All right, so now we're just gonna load it to Rockstar Editor. Just keep mashing A, basically, for your last clip. And uh, yeah, that's really it. So let's scrub through the thing here. Let's wait until the Banshee going past. I don't like the yellow, or maybe, and no, I don't like the yellow. I'll wait for another car to go past. You know, we got that Futo, we got right about there. I like this, cause it's like, we got a Futo, we got a guy walking. So let's, uh, let's play around with it. Um, obviously you want your free camera. This is with the camera you're gonna be moving around. <clears throat> now the biggest mistake that people make, and it's, it's kind of like the snapmatic type of photo, is that uh, when they're taking a picture, you can see the number at the top here. I'll try to move my mouse. Uh, at the top here is like 0.9. It's normally at like 0.7 or some shit like that. And it's like, this is how people tend to take photos of cars. It's, it's okay, but it, like wide angle is not really recommended for cars. Um, sure, you can take some really nice scenery some nice scenic shots you're parked on a mountain or something like that but this is how most people's pictures look and it's just weird uh the biggest tip i could give you guys is to actually zoom that bitch in all the way to like point like 3.0 or 2.7 so here i'm like I'll, I'll show again so i'm gonna be zoomed at normal and i'm gonna try to get a close-up of the car and it just looks warped kind of you know kind of way it's just like trying to get too much in so now however i'm gonna zoom all the way up to three and now I even if I back up um, I still get a pretty nice shot with the car right so there I can get the pole going I could take up half the screen with that and boom just like that I take a screenshot 
I don't have any filters on um, honestly you don't, you don't need them I was pretty guilty of using way too many filters before uh, like you take pictures like that and it's kind of dated it doesn't age well and one filter you could maybe sometimes use is cathode here or cathode I'm not sure how you pronounce it but you want to turn that down to like 4% or something it adds just a bit of darkness so it adds that ultra realism so here I'm gonna grab another screen um, yeah that, that's really it guys I'm gonna scrub through here see if I can get another shot let's get that passing all right grab another shot you know add your guys shoe to it like you know be well dressed and have it again foreground background and then you could start playing with uh, depth of field um, that's the other big thing you could do that in post-processing like in Photoshop but not, the GTA depth of field isn't too bad, honestly. So you set that to like, let's see here. I'm going to set it to my target. I'm going to intensify it a bit. So it blurs out a bit more. It's like setting the aperture right on the camera. And I'm going to then position my camera where I want it. There you go. Like so much going on in that picture, but yet it's pretty clear what my subject is. So just like that, I grab another screenshot and like if you're doing interior shots at that one, at that point, you want to zoom out a bit. Um, like in terms of like cockpit camera, you want to zoom out to add that, you know, that field of view. So like going back to the original 1.0 there. But other than that, like you definitely, the biggest thing is to just zoom in and you do this and you can make any car look like just amazing take a nice video like a nice slow-mo panning shot you know just nice and slow and stuff like that all right so that's really it guys like it's not that hard it takes a minute zoom in and uh, yeah have a good computer <laughs> cheers